thickness of the rope and I painted it. Okay. And it just balances like that. We put it in between the gallery. You did, and the table okay. And balance okay. It like that. What do you call it, Beast? What's the name of this? Read the towel. Read the towel. Now my hair, the bloody rope that hung me, becomes power to the flower and her roots. You can see her face right here. I love that reflection or the shadow. The shadow. I love the shadow too. Mm -hmm. But it's the roots and the rope and the flower that, make it. that makes the feet. Wow. What's that? Looks like a horse over there. This is to symbol a horse. When I met Jody Bear, I call it Jenny Bear. But when I met Jody Bear, she was telling me how she really, really loved horses and how horses was in her life. And for me to have made this, I constructed it out of the thin material there at the bear's uh, scrapyard. But if you look at this, it looked like the rib of the yeah. horse. This become the head of the horse, you see? But now that the horse is gonna move it, can you see it now? Yeah. Can you see the horse? Yeah. This be the bit that you put in the horse's mouth. But I was trying to show things that is here, you actually could take them, shake them, see them, place them, and then they become what your expressions is trying to explain easier for people. This is more of an abstract piece. It's beautiful though. But if you come come around here. Yeah. Now bend down. You see it? Now you see it? Absolutely. Yeah. And then you're gonna have the motion too. I mean, yeah. Perfect. But the whole thing is to to take people to that. Because a lot of people they see art that we do, but they don't really get it. You know? You got people like Mr. Dow right here that didn't talk about his work. You got people like Ronald Lockett that didn't talk about his works that much, but he's dead and gone. Now it can't be talked about. You got books full of, of identification of what artists did, but those artists is not around to tell you about yeah. why they did them or the materials that they worked with. And but, why they did what they did. And I well, most of it is that we're concerned it's not that we have the power or enough money. Now, what is the power? Again, I may need to take that back. We may do have the power to make a change, but in a society like this that depends on money to, to what? Activate the power, we may not have it. So we still need somebody like Steve or, or, or your, your husband, is it your husband or your yes. boyfriend? Yes. Your husband to come along and, and photograph our material because photographing it would then take it to another level. And it'd be easier for us to then have exhibits. But without other people coming into our lives and saying, well, what is this about? And I'm telling you, hooked on the mechanical. You say, what is hooked on the mechanical? And I tell you that I found this thing looked like a mechanical hand mm -hmm. here. Yeah. And in the process of finding this thing, it looked like two hands coming together on the rope up saying, and he just quit. Or he, that somebody come in and work him so much, they start working so fast until all his parts just start falling apart without any consideration. Here it is, we're living in an age right now where there's not enough cash to always rebuild or buy new parts. So are they gonna still push this thing to its scripts for level of production? You see what I'm talking about? Mm -hmm. Just by saying, oh, we're gonna, we're gonna go on and do it, but here it is, the wires and things are breaking. Not only would this thing be in fault of, of, of causing problems, but the little tiny wire that reaches out to go to your computerism for this thing is gonna be affected. So now as your computer is depending on a satellite, then all your numbers gotta go and be changed in the satellite, that's gonna put a congested satellite. Yeah. Concept. So one thing that we do on Earth may affect the whole purpose of being hooked on the mechanical and not having this hand. This is for real hand right here versus that hand, you see. 